Now this is our layout table and this is where we're going to do most of our work. So this is where we're going to line up our pipe. So keep tuned and look. We're going to parallel line first thing to our square. So after we run our line, we take our reducer. We use our measuring tape to measure the diameter. Inside diameter where we get six inches, outside diameter where we get six and three quarter. So we're going to work with our inside diameter. So that is six inches. Now we're going to open our scrap our divider and open to three inches. And tighten. Recheck. Recheck. We'll pick anywhere on the line. And scribe. After scribing, open the divider more than half of the circle. Create an arc. This is how we're going to dissect our circle. Where the, the arcs Wait. cross, there is where we're going to put the center line. So using our square again, we line up our centers. Extending our lines, that is one of the most important things. No. Our reducer needs it on our circle. Ensure our lines are lined up. Now, using our square, we're going to square our pipe. And we're going to continue this to our next center around the pipe. Now we have completed centering our reducer. So this is the four centers on our pipe. Next, we're going to transfer these measurements to our already fitted pipe. This is now preparing the six inch pipe to be fitted onto the reducer. Now that we have prepared our joints, we're going to put in the center line. We're going to transfer the measurements from the reducer to get our center line. To our pipes, we're going to use our level, two feet level standard, two feet level, and our tape measure. Because the pipe is six, in, the inside diameter of the pipe is six inches, and the outside diameter is six and a half, all we need to do is just divide and find the radius. Dividing it, we go 2 divided by the diameter, which is 6 and a half G, equal 3 and a quarter. First, first, we have to make sure that it is level and aligned properly against the side of the pipe. You realize our level center is in the center. Now we're going to transfer the measurement on the pipe, three and quarter. Three and quarter. So after we have found our center with our angle iron that we have, we're going to use to align and properly draw our, our center line. So we fix it and run our line. That is our first center line. This is our wraparound, and with our wraparound, we're going to use it to calculate the circumference of our pipe. Ensure that it's fit closely to the pipe. 
we have located our circumference which is 21 inches we're now going to calculate the radius which is 21 divided by 4 which is 5 and quarter so using the, our same wrapper on to wrap around the pipe five and quarter five quarter our next side five quarter on the side no we have found three of our centers because of the proximity of this center we won't strain ourselves to find it we're going to use our angle iron and run our center line so it is outlined with more definition the purpose, the purpose for not having to run this line is because if three of these lines are set then eventually the fourth line will be in our oh, set. now we're marking our center line that is one Ensure that it is locked. Scribe. Now after putting all our center lines, we're going to use our spacer. Which for this we use the one drop. So now we're going to place our reducer on the pipe. Ensuring that the lines are straight. First, you have to look, visually look at it. And if you and come inspect. closer, you can see that all our lines, all the lines are lined up. I know. Uh, one inch, one by one angle iron. We're going to use it for support to align our six-inch pipe, six-inch reducer. So now this is our welder, then we're she's going to tap, just a light tap to hold for support. Yeah. For a light and simple tap, just to hold support in the pipe. Our spacer. This is our spacer back on the side. This is our one eight spacer. No. Well, I'm working. So all our lines are aligned. Now we're going to put our first step. The line also. Cover. First tap. The other tap will be placed at the other center line. Cover. Now we will tap all the center lines. This is when the pipe, the flange, not the flange, the um, the reducer is well lit. You can see the, 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 the root opening. It is nicely done. The flange too was nicely tacked onto the header. So that is the well neck flange. And also the reducer. If you see 
Don't you be able to see it properly from there, but um, it is nicely fitted. <laughs>